Hello, and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. It's sort of like the difference between we watch the nativity on uh, Christmas Eve as a family. That's what, one of the things we do is we watch the nativity together. And it shows the scene of Zechariah in the temple. He's all excited. They're all proud. He's going to be the one going back, you know. And the angel of God speaks to him and says, your wife is going to give birth to a son. You shall name John. And what does he do? According to to the flesh. He starts to reason with God in the very presence of God. He begins to reason. And what does the angel say? Because of this, you will not speak until the day appointed by the Lord. Now contrast that to what Mary did. Unmarried, virgin young woman, controversial times, Visited by the angel, you are highly favored of God. You shall conceive and give birth to a son whose name shall be Jesus. And she, what, how does she conclude it? Let it be unto me as you have spoken. The highest humility any believer in Jesus can walk in is say, if you say it, I receive it, let it be so. Amen. So be it. So be it. And not even let yourself go down the avenue of thinking according to your fleshly abilities, whether or not he could possibly even be speaking to you. Let's keep reading. Remember, dear brothers and sisters, the few of you were wise in the world's eyes or powerful or wealthy when God called you. Instead, God chose things the world considers foolish in order to shame those who think they were their wise. Yep. Yep. You know? He chose things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. God chose things despised by the world. Things counted as nothing at all and used them to bring to nothing what the world considers important. And as a result, no one can ever boast in the presence of God. God has united you with Christ Jesus. For our benefit, God made him to be wisdom itself. Christ made us right with God. He made us pure and holy, and he freed us from sin. Therefore, as the scriptures say, if you want to boast, boast about the Lord. Boast about the Lord. Now, I believe that what the Holy Spirit is up to in these last days is not going to be based on a successful branding, a major international reputation, large numbers, etc. It's not going to be based on family lines, race, gender, age, socioeconomic status, level of education, career, talents, etc. Fill in the blank. The wicked of this world can gather large crowds too, folks. Oh, yes. Horrible movies can draw crowds large enough to fill multiple theaters across this nation, even in times of COVID. Godless entertainers can fill huge stadiums to which people will pay large sums of money to go for just a couple hours. Come on. Jesus never got a security from the size of the crowds that came out to see him. Jesus is still at work through ordinary, humble, unassuming, faithful believers in the way he's publicized in the scriptures he would be. He hasn't changed. 
God does not change, nor does he repent. He doesn't have need to. He's perfect. All his decisions are right ones. All his ways are good. He's not a man. He's looking to offer more grace to those who are ready to receive it. Look at what it says in James 4, 6 in the New King James Version. It says, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. The humble there is not the right wording, the right look on your face, and a demeaning of yourself. That is not humble. Humble is the ability to acknowledge who he is and that regardless of who you may appear to be, Whatever he says has to be true. I will believe it and I will receive it. Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son, Jesus Christ, willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, goodnewsthatactuallyis.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day.